Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig. Callie and I have been down here in beautiful Baja, Mexico. For the last five weeks, we've been learning how to kiteboard. I've been staying extremely warm thanks to Quicksilver. This is the 3-2 Highline Plus Chest Zip Wetsuit. There is a lot of technology that Quicksilver's put into this wetsuit. Few things to touch on. First, is it comfortable? Absolutely. And is it warm? Yes. So the water temperature where we've been has been a little bit on the warm side for what I would consider this wetsuit to be made for. It's been around the 70 degree water temp. What I've found is that if I'm in the water a lot for most of the day, which we were when we began kiteboarding because I was falling a lot, I wasn't able to get up, so I spent a ton of time in the water. This was great. However, by the end of the trip, where I wasn't spending nearly as much time in the water, I found that the 3-2 is very warm. I wasn't sweating or extremely hot, but I noticed when I'd get out from a three hour session that I definitely was warm. I was not cold by any means. If that water temp dips into say, maybe something around 65, I think this is gonna be a great wetsuit for that. To start out, the wetsuit's made of their Effin Light 2 neoprene. This is a textured neoprene, and what that helps with is the quick drying factor. So if you're gonna be surfing in the morning and then maybe coming back and going out again in the afternoon or evening, it helps for the wetsuit to dry. Also, you can see these external seams are made with their HydroLock technology. This is gonna be their lightest and also most flexible seam technology that they've put in a wetsuit. Speaking of the flexibility, the entire wetsuit is extremely flexible. Now I have an older wetsuit from Rip Curl that is also 3-2 and I've noticed that that wetsuit is definitely not nearly as comfortable and flexible as this particular wetsuit. You can see that on my knees, I do have a little bit of padding there and it is a higher abrasion area. So they've built that with a different fabric. It's not a neoprene fabric like the rest of the wetsuit. You can see that on my chest as well as on my back, I have this rubber panel. That's gonna cut down on the amount of wind that's getting through the wetsuit and to your core, basically keeping you warm at the end of the day. Also on both of my wrists as well as on my ankles, I have the Flush Lock 2.0 seals that's gonna prevent the wetsuit from flushing, again, keeping you warm. I mentioned that this is a chest zip, and this is the first chest zip that I've had. Wasn't sure if I would like it or not. In the end, I absolutely love it. All wetsuits are pretty difficult to get on, and I thought this would be a lot more difficult than my previous wetsuit, which is a full back zip. However, getting this on and off was not an issue at all. There's a little bit of a trick to it with getting your arms in and getting the wetsuit up as your arms are going in, but once you figure it out, it's very easy, not really an issue in the long run. This zipper is also a semi-dry zip. Also, this overlapping collar area that goes over my shoulder bone and down to the back does have a nice drawstring to it so that I can really cinch this down and prevent any water from getting into the back of the wetsuit. As far as sizing goes, I went right off their size chart and went with a large. This is not a tall, it's just a regular. I'm six feet tall, 185 pounds, and a 32 inch waist and about a 44 inch chest. Now, if I turn to the side, you can kind of see how this fits me. My butt, a lot of people say I don't really have one. They say my back kind of extends into my legs. With that said, I feel like I still have a great fit with this wetsuit. I don't have any areas that are bunched up with too much material or any areas that I feel like could use a little bit extra material. If I slip this off, we'll dive into some of the technology that they've built into the interior of this wetsuit. With it off, we can get a much better look on the inside. You can see this material here, kind of this diamond pattern going through the body, as well as the upper legs on the front and the back of the wetsuit. This is their Warm Flight Far Infrared Thermal Lining, and this pattern that they have built into it is called their Diamond Deluxe Pattern. This is what is providing a lot of the warmth and the stretch. It's allowing air pockets to be trapped against your body here, and that diamond pattern and the different cuts that are through it allow for the stretch. Again, just leading to warmth and the wetsuit being comfortable. You can also see on their seams, they're all glued and blind stitched, as well as certain areas of the wetsuit are taped with what they call their effing tape. This is all gonna lead to the wetsuit being dry, comfortable, and warm. You can also see 
these little dots throughout the wetsuit. I've got one in the shoulder area here, down on the knees. You can see that I have quite a few there. And what that is, it's a reinforcement of where seams either join another seam or where the seam ends completely. What this is gonna do is it's really gonna lend to that longevity of the wetsuit and the ultimate durability. In the end, I'd say that Quicksilver really made a bomber wetsuit with the Highline Plus 3.2. For me, it's something that's gonna keep me out on the water all day. I'm gonna be comfortable and I'm gonna stay warm. If you guys have any questions about this wetsuit, please, Leave them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Also, if you're wondering what we're up to or where we are, please check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.